Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, and in this look at System Centre Essentials, I want to continue to review what you can do with authoring. So I'm in the authoring console again here, and last time you remember, we created a very simple OLADB data source to track that we could get to the reporting services database. You can do a similar thing for ping. You might want to check that Active Directory is actually pinging out properly by checking port 53, for example. But when we come to web applications, what we're also able to do is to record a browser session. And if I initiate that now, we can call this Report Manager because that's the site we're going to be hitting. That's the portal which um, provides the reporting services reports. I'll put it in my Ski Sunday management pack that I created last time. And now I can start capture. And when I do that, it's going to record what I'm doing so that that can be replayed back by a robot that can continually test whenever we want to that that website's performing properly from one of the computers that I'm managing. If I click Start Capture now, we have a problem. In that it's opened IE, but not the version of IE that we need. What we actually need to do is open IE64. And you can see that because I've got this extra screen on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Report Manager portal here. And then I'm going to go into one of the Essentials reports and pick up the Software Inventory report. View the report. I'll just hit stop here. It'll take me back into the wizard for recording a browser session. And I've now got these three steps here. And on each one of these, I can put in a whole bunch of tests that I want to evaluate. I might decide to go for errors greater than 401. I might decide that there's an error has occurred if it takes longer than 10 seconds to get an answer back. And then I can do the same kind of thing with warnings. And I might say, well, there's going to be a warning if it's greater than five seconds and an error if it's greater than 10. I can then verify all that and then apply all. And as soon as I try and apply, it's going to ask me where do I want to test that from. And I might want to test that from the BI client so that we can actually see what the end user experience is going to be. And that's that done. If I expand out Management Pack Objects, there's a whole bunch of other kinds of objects that I can use in here and change the various settings and the way things behave. For example, I've got a whole bunch of rules on here. And the ones that are greyed out means that these rules aren't actually working at the moment. And this is why some of the reports that you run in System Center Essentials aren't necessarily going to return any data. Also, rules can be overridden. So if I look for all the rules that have got the term percent in, which you can see here. So if I want this rule to work, then I can go to overrides here and override the rule for a specific group, which would be the Windows client group. And then I can override this particular parameter which is enabled and set its value to be true. And I can override the frequency as well and make it so it overrides to running once an hour rather than every 15 minutes. And I can hit OK to do that. with. Other things I can do with objects that might be of interest to you are service level tracking. And I can create a new service level. Give it a name, so reporting services, SLA. I can decide what I'm going to check. Just select all here. And here I could pick up the SQL Server reporting services server. OK. Again, I'll put this in my Ski Sunday management pack. Then I can add in a monitor state SLO. I'll call this SRS availability. Reporting services 2008. I can choose what's counted as downtime. And we're done. And that too will sit there and work. If I continue my tour and look at tasks, you can see that we've got all sorts of tasks in there. You can add your own in here, and then you can link them up to when alerts uh, and so on fail. 
So it really is a very, very rich environment. And as I said previously, the thing to do here is to do some research into all the things you can do in Operations Manager because essentially it's the same process. So that's me done with looking at authoring. In my next demo, we're going to have a look at how to back up and restore all the data we're collecting in Ski so that we can recover from any kind of disaster.